What's up y'all, this is Henny. And listen, today I wanna to tell you about a really dope app that I found that works really well inside of LumaFusion to really start to create those titles and things to make them even spicier for your mobile content creator vibes. Let's get to it. Let's go! <laughs> So this app is called Mojo. It's an Insta Story editor is what they have it titled in the App Store. But, but, <laughs> but I watched the homie Patrick Tommaso's video on this app and all the things that you can do. And I thought about bringing it to my audience as it relates to something that could work very well with inside LumaFusion. Let me show you. Mojo, the app, right? It creates stunning stories. It has hundreds of animated templates, text effects. You know, you can go directly to your Instagram, Twitter, those types of vibes, right? That's kind of what it's made for is to kind of help you with your stories, help you with, you know, some of your posts on your feeds when it comes to having really great text layout and, you know, imagery, pictures, and all of that animated for your social platforms. But using their pro platform, you can actually really take and step this up a whole nother notch. Let me show you how this is done. I'm going to go and go into Mojo. And this is the template that you'll see uh, when you get in, right? They'll show you some of their featured uh, ways that you can kind of like really start to edit a lot of your social imagery, right? They have all things from fashion to photography, a classic square rounded. And then they come to my favorite, which is the blank canvas. You have two options, right? This blank canvas on the left, which you know has a little picture in it where you can embed an image and then do the text or a just blank, straight white template that will allow you to really switch things up. Now, if I go in here and let's say I go to this little brush down here, it'll show you a whole bunch of pop-up windows. It'll show you a whole bunch of things that you can do. So the first thing I wanna do is change the format. You can change it to uh, landscape. You already, you already see what's going? Uh, you, already, you already see what's going? Uh, let's keep going. So I'm gonna change this color to black. Now I have a canvas with a black backdrop now what we want to do is hit this plus button on the bottom and uh you'll come up with media text graphics whatever right i'm gonna try text and you can see it has all these different texts that you can use right you got to think of this as almost like having adobe after effects straight on your ipad for text text you know graphics and all of that maybe let's try the outline text right and i could do like kitty boom Done. Let's say if I wanted to make time of, like a new intro, I can hit this I button and it'll show me what it's going to do. Right? Maybe I want to make it a little bigger. I can square it up. There we go. Hit the preview again. Boom. Save video and it just saves directly to my photos app. Right? And I can keep doing this. I can go back. All right, and hit the edit button. Let's take this whole thing out, delete it, and let's try something else. Um, text, maybe, let's see here. I got stuff for captions, things for social, right? All the things that I was kind of showing you, like how to do outros or whatever. Maybe I'll do something like this. Boom, hitting the business, done, preview. And I'm going to save this uh, again, right? And save the video. You see how fast we can start to create little videos for ourselves. And we'll, let me show you, let me show you one more. Take this out, text. They have very dynamic text. Maybe you're doing something like Color Pulse and you're talking about, you know, you're reviewing a camera. So you wanna talk about battery life, right? Something as a transitional piece. Let's make this bigger preview. Boom, save. Now I've just quickly created something like a text, something like a logo type of vibe for maybe the intro, something for my social media thing for the end, and maybe some type of transitional piece in between contents of your video, right? All these things are awesome. They have great colors, great text, great graphics. Now let's move over to LumaFusion. 
All right, so we're setting up a new project. We're gonna go and drop a video in just so I have something here. Now, the first thing I wanna do is go into the photos and show you exactly all the pieces that I did, right? So I took this piece and we can see here, boom, any of the business, right? If we wanna layer that on top of the video, all we have to do is double tap this actual little clip, go down here to frame and fit, and come down to blending and make sure your blending mode is set to screen. So once it's set to screen, you can see it easily just scrubs as I'm playing, right? And if it's a little too slow, let's just make the speed three times and make that really fast. So boom, a new business, boom. And just like that, I have an animated graphic for what I'm doing on, um, you know, some type of YouTube video in LumaFusion. Now, let's say I'm talking about something and I want to talk about its battery life. So maybe this is the transitional piece. So what I'm going to do now, same thing, double tap, go to frame and fit, come up here to blending, switch this down to go to screen and it could be a transition. If I want the transition to be more like a static image in the back, um, you know, we can easily, you know, go into our photos. So I basically just placed a picture underneath, right? Any static image underneath uh, as a transitional thing talking about battery life. And so if I'm talking, go here and Yeah, that was quick and crazy, but you get the idea, right? And maybe I come down to the end of my video, come all the way back up here, and drop this outro where I talk about my social media. And if I double tap on that, it'll show me, you know, at any of the business for Instagram, frame and fit, come to blending, and go to screen. And, you know, it's just as simple as that, right? Follow me, ba 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 bum, and I'm done. I think this app is truly awesome for what it can do. Now, it's a subscription model. We gotta think about this because you know it's adding into your monthly budget of the things that you need to do with uh, going mobile, doing things on your iPad, and not having so many subscriptions. And I believe it it's around you know, yeah. Yes, it is a subscription model, and yes, it is something that you uh, would have to be paying for monthly if that is a situation that you need to do monthly, right? You might not need it for every month. You might not need it throughout a full year, but think about the availabilities that's to you for you to be able to do something like that on your phone or do it directly on you know, your iPad and using it with LumaFusion, using it with LumaFusion, using it by itself to be able to do things like that for your Instagram stories. Now, you, you just gotta think about how professional you want your videos, your graphics, all of that to look. So some of it is worth the investment, some of it isn't. Now, the, the great thing is, you know, once you do uh, have those videos saved on your device, you'll already have those saved and you can just bring them into LumaFusion, which is great. What's even more great is the fact that I hollered at the good folks at Mojo and they are willing to give me 10 free year copies of this app so that 10 of you guys can be able to try this for a year if that's, you know, something that you would like to do. All you'd have to do is follow me down here at uh, Henny the Business like I showed you on Instagram and make sure you subscribe and write me a comment on this video letting me know exactly why you might use something like this Mojo app, which I think is extremely uh, convenient for us people using iPads and not having After Effects and a lot of Adobe products for your iOS devices. So that's pretty much it. This is the Mojo app. I think it is really stunning. It has really great graphics, really great templates and ways that you can put together, you know, great polished looking social media pieces as well as using it extremely easy inside of LumaFusion. Let me know if you got any more questions, drop a comment below, and I hope you guys are doing well. Just wanted to kind of give you that. Shout out to the homie Patrick Tommaso for putting me on from his video, and uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one. And I'm out!